Okay, what's up everybody? Um, Ashley making hair and I have something. Do my makeup right quick. I have something very ex I'm so excited tonight. Um, I stayed up and I wrote some notes. I have something very important to share with you. Um, and it pertains to any career that you're in right now. You need this. You need to share this with someone that's close to you. Um, once you get the value that I I'm adding to you from this video, you're going to want you're going to get excited and you're not even going to want to sleep after you see this. So watch this whole video and share this um, with um, anyone that you deem um, important to you. And you will. All right. So you yourself is a business. You have liabilities, mortgage, car note, and liab liabilities take money out of your pockets. Assets continue to put money in your pockets. The key of the game of life is to have more assets bringing money in your account faster and more abundant than the liabilities can take out. 80% of the world only have a job and that is not a asset in which you can keep up with debt. You can't even save with a job. The anagram for J-O-B is just over broke. It just keeps you broke. So I am going to show you what is called the cash flow quadrant. So guys, here it is. It's the cash flow quadrant. Um, I'm just sharing some information with you. My aim is not to boss you around, but it is in, to enable you to become your own boss. But I want to explain to you what a, an employee is and what it actually means. An employee is a person employed for wages or a salary, especially at a non-executive level. There's another word in the Webster Dictionary that a lot of people don't know about. It's called a wage slave or wage slavery. You can look this up on your own time. Wage slavery is a pejorative term used to draw an analogy between slavery and wage labor labor by focusing on similarities between owning and renting a person so they own and rent your time it is used to refer to a situation where a person's livelihood depends on wages or a salary especially when the dependence is total and immediate for example, immediate dependence is right away. You work for 40 hours a week. You work for 40 years. You retire with 40% less than what you could not live on it in the first place. That's why you see a lot of people compensating their income, becoming Walmart greeters or going to work at staffing agencies for a couple days out of the week because they are now getting 40% that less than what they work for in the first place. Sometimes people work for 10, ye 10 years with no raise. Some sometimes working 10 years and your wage gets cut. You can also work and possibly be fired because a company needs to downsize. In this quadrant also, you are subject to the highest tax rate between 18 and 47 percent you possibly can get benefits you have no financial security and you're fired when you're not needed your wage slash boss defines what time you wake up in the morning what clothes you wear what time you get to work what time you take a lunch break you ask for a vacation you are also told what time you are released to go home. Your wage defines what car you can afford to, to drive, 
how big of a house you can afford to live in, how many kids you can afford to take care of, their food, clothes, school's tuition or not, and controls what time you even go to bed. You are not a boss. You are getting bossed. Your boss designs your life your life plan since you did not design your own plan. You will fall into someone else's plan and guess what they will have what they have planned for you. Not much. If for some reason you cannot work anymore, you will not get paid. You don't work, you don't eat. If you stop working, your child cannot pick up where you left off at in a 9 to 5 job. So let's talk about self self-employed. And you can see the similarities between this and this is because the employee part did not go anywhere. You are still employed. You now own a job. You own your own job. You went out and bought the job. Jesus. Okay. So with self-employed, you bought your job, you own it. You are the boss and the employee. You have to have startup capital. You can work when you want. You Your income depends on your working time. The longer you work, the more you get paid. But who's going to overwhelm themselves like that? You need a website. Um... If no one know no one knows who you are nowadays if you don't have a internet presence or a website or an app or a storefront. Um so with a regular brick and mortar um business, you need a storefront. You need insurance just in case of a fire or a break in. You need to buy items in advance for your store. Hoping that they all can get resold. Um, advertising. You have to um, advertise on billboards, email, postcards, weekly, monthly. That all costs money. That's all a part of your expenses for running a brick and motor business. You have to have foot traffic coming into your business. People have to trust you. You have to, in order for people to trust a brand that's not known, you have to be giving away like freebies and doing massive marketing to gain trust, especially from new products. You also uh, run a risk of getting um, a lawsuit. Um, and anybody just sues anybody nowadays for no reason. You don't even have a reason. Someone can just be trying to sue you. This is with a regular traditional business I'm speaking of. Working with... Um, either a good or a service you need to know about marketing mix you can start a business but if you have lack of expertise that's counting against you so you need to know about the marketing mix it's four p's of marketing a product <clears throat> first is the product now you can have a tangible product or intangible intangible product that fulfills a need or a service in the neighborhood that you have it in because now you have one spot in a neighborhood and you have to market to that surrounding spot like people will not travel hundreds of miles just to come to your store unless you have a uh, product that is like most urgent ur urgently needed five miles out that's how much people are willing to travel to get to a store so <clears throat> understand that your products and understand your product and what makes it unique before you can even successfully market it. Number two, price. Once a concrete understanding, sorry guys, of the product offering is established, we can start making some pricing decisions. So price. Price affects your profit margins, supply and demand, plus you have to find out how much discretionary income people have in that area that are willing to spend. Sometimes you have to perform a SWOT analysis that strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, comparing yourself to your competitors. 
So you have to pay for someone if you don't know how to perform your own SWOT analysis to find out <clears throat> who are your competitors in the biz, uh, in the area and what are their products <clears throat> and services that you are running against. <coughs> Sorry, when you start a traditional business. This is one golden nugget. Competitors are not on your side. They will do anything to get rid of you. Number three, promotion. You get your product at... <coughs> Sorry, guys. You get your product and a price. Now it's time to promote. Do you have enough money for all of the parts of promotion? Advertising expense, public re relations expense, a social media marketer, email marketing, search engine optimization marketing, video marketing, plus much more. You have to have a well-positioned brand to have a good return on investment. And also, who will you pay to promote? These people that are with you are the face of your business. So you, they have to be able to represent your business with the same posture that you have for your business. It's all about duplication. We're all, um, let me follow up on also talking about place. Where will your store be most profitable? Marketing is all, all about putting the right product at the right place at the right time. With brick and mortar establishments, which meaning brick and mortar is um, when you set up a, a storefront. Locations convert. <clears throat> brick and mortar establishes lo establishments, locations convert potential clients into actual customers. Now, nowadays, you do not need a counter to process a transaction. You run everything um, with, um, sorry, with uh, self-employment. You run everything 24-7 by yourself. When you go on a holiday, so does your money. So basically, that's the end of me talking about self-employment. Self-employment is like a doctor. So when he goes on vacation, he has the experience. People pay for his service. And if he is not there, he does not get paid. If patients don't get sick, he would not get paid. So his occupation depends on people getting sick and need, needs to get well. Same with him. If people don't need to build anything in the area, he's going to go out of business. So basically just saying this is a high risk area. And if you have the capital to be in this area, be there. But you can have one good month and the next month could be one bad month and you can be out of business. That's why 90% 90, 90 of businesses fail. Not because they don't have what people need. It is because they had one bad month in business. <clears throat> so next I'm going to talk about the B, the business owner, big business quadrant. <clears throat> so the B quadrant, you're in a bit, you're a business owner and you are working on passive income. You build assets. <clears throat> These are the qualities of being in this quadrant. You build assets. These are the assets needed for you um, to combat all of those liabilities that's coming into your life on a monthly basis. Um, rent, mortgage, insurance, life insurance, all of that stuff. You build assets in this B quadrant. Um, you have money and time. Once you build these assets, you will have the money and you will have the time to enjoy it. You can leverage teams you partner with people and you leverage um 100 people and you help 100 people start business a business and the company pays you one percent of what they earn in their business 
So the company pays you to help people start their own business and you don't get a part of these people's money. You get money from the company because the company um, counts on people nowadays to build networks for them and advertise for them. <clears throat> and so when a person builds a network for that company, um, they figure that since they're on Facebook and they're always talking about products and services anyway, hey, why not become an um, affiliate marketer and partner with the company? And instead of you being a customer to, say, um, Kmart, you'll be an affiliate marketer for Kmart. And so instead of you spending $300 a month at Kmart, you also you spend the same three hundred, but you talk about your products. And once you once you talk about the products that you bought from Kmart, you get paid from Kmart for talking about the products. And the more money that you partner with to talk about Kmart's products with you and buy from Kmart, the more money that you help people make, they'll pay you one percent of everything that they make. This is. When you own a system, <clears throat> and um, let me talk more about that. So you leverage change rather than rather than individual effort. Income flows whether you work or not in this quadrant. Income flows whether you work or not. You <clears throat> you own a business system. You own a business system. For example, a business system is um. Just like McDonald's, whether you go into McDonald's in Illinois, Illinois, or in Mississippi, they all make the burger the same. They all have, they all taste the same. If you franchise in McDonald's, you duplicate what other McDonald's are doing. Training is the same. <clears throat> Food is the same. The menu is the same. Everything is done for you. You already even have a customer base. People just love McDonald's already um, people already know what McDonald's offers on their menu um, <clears throat> so franchising a opportunity can go from millions of dollars like McDonald's or all the way down to a $40 cheap business opportunity but a cheap credible profitable these opportunities are still profitable even at a $40 level so that's what I offer. The cheapest business opportunity gear for newbies to it to learn how to expand their network online. So um, with the online business, you have no risk. Since you franchise a business opportunity online, you have you have a money back guarantee because the company does not want your money, to be honest with you. The company wants to partner with people who to help them expand their businesses so that they can split profits with you. Because you're going to be on Facebook talking about products and services anyway. You should get paid for it. You work when you want, wherever you want. The asset that you build with the company can be wheeled down to your children and your children's children. It goes down three generations. If someone happens, if something happens in life that disables you, your children or family can continue to build your business where you left off at, at the same profit um, margin. So if you build your business to a $250,000 level and you something happens to you and you pass away, that money can continue to go to your kids or your kids can pick up where you left off and continue to build your business to... 250, 300, 400,000. Just keep, they just continue to keep on where you left off at. You do not have to quit your job to start this type of business, this type of online business. You can use your unproductive time to spend, that you spend on social media. It is not costly to start your business especially online with their spare time. Some people have spare time because they're on Facebook and sharing statuses and liking things. I call that spare time where you're not uh, productively earning money 
and um, use it as your leisure time. So some people have leisure time of one hour a day, one hour a day times seven days. That's seven hours a week to dedicate to an opportunity that can um, possibly better you if you actually want it. If you actually read the books, if you actually take the training series, if you actually want to change in your life, that's what um, seven hours of unproductive time can do towards your now and towards your future greatly. Um, it's not costly to start. Usually people spend $10 a day on lunch while at work. $10 a day is about $300 a month. Um, you can sacrifice and pay half for lunch for a whole month and start your own business. And that way you'll have $100 left over just from just saving what you um, didn't use on uh, just food. A lot of people uh, don't know where, they money go they, where um, their money goes throughout the month. That's why, that's another reason why um, the, the accounting measures don't add up with the assets coming in and the liabilities coming out. Um, the same excuse you give to not start a business is the someone's, someone else's reason why. Let me explain. One person may say, I, I won't start because I don't have the money. Another person may say, or will say, I must start because I never have any money. I see this as an opportunity to expand myself and equal myself from the crack crap that I have been dealt because it is crap one person will say I won't start because I never have any time another person will say I hate that I work so much I never get to spend time around my family or my friends I will cut watching TV and use that unproductive time to build this business so I can make more money passively so that I can go part-time at work or stop working and spend more time with my family, my friends, and traveling and doing what I really love to do. Because I don't like that repetitive job and it's mediocre. I will buy my time back. So that's what a positive person will say. Always remember, your excuse is someone else's reason why. Depends on what you want in life and if it has a sense of urgency to you um, with online business you don't have to worry about training the company provides provides the training for you because they want you to be successful they want you to um, be profitable because you are um, marketing with them and they provide you everything you need to become successful and also the person that you partner with with this company will also provide you training especially if the company is more than 60 years old and has that concrete training whereas um, the company has seen success happen through these methods and they're willing to um, share those with you so that you can apply them so you can also be successful yourself you will franchise a tangible or intangible asset. A tangible good is like a book or furniture, cheeseburger, anything that you can touch. Selling it online with the link behind, with the link with your name attached to it. Um, an intangible good example is an intellectual property such as Beyonce's song. That's something that you can sell if she. If she franchised um, her songs and had a way that if you distributed her songs, she would pay you for helping to distribute her songs, that would be an intangible good um, that you can build in the B quadrant and that you can expand your income on that. Also, it can be ebooks, videos, a service like roadside assistance. Like these are services that you can't see but still benefit from. A college education is also intangible because your same experience cannot be duplicated. It solely belongs to you. Airline tickets, 
teaching is a tan intangible service because you cannot touch it, but it is valuable depending on who it is. Just like a hairstylist. You cannot touch her skills, but she can still market her skills online and have her name attached to the link so that she can get paid for it. Um, insurance is also intangible. Facebook is intangible. Facebook doesn't have any products. Face Facebook has services that it offers. YouTube. YouTube doesn't have a product. YouTube provides a service. So you will receive a website operated by IBM. Now trust me, on your own, you will not be able to go to IBM and have the credibility for IBM to just do your website on a random product. So this is already done for you. The company has already went to IBM. IBM already runs uh, marketing websites for you. You just have to go ahead and uh, give yourself a chance and go ahead and start. Um, so when someone clicks your link and goes to your site, you will get paid for it. You will also get access to use the product or service that you offer. You will get top of the line service because you are a partner instead of a customer. See, customers, they get coupons, but partners get monetary benefits. They get bonuses. They get um, money. They get vacation time. They get um, va sent on vacation. Sometimes they get cars. Sometimes they get luxury items just because they send people to their website. So, and also, I want to um, let you know that this company does all of the accounting for you, so you always get paid on time. And also, they keep tra track of your payments coming through the site that you own, so you don't have to ever worry about that. You just have to promote. This business is a tax write-off. Everything you market, the miles you drive, and since this is a home-based business, you don't have to pay that much in taxes. The most you have to pay is 15% in taxes. Some people, zero. Yeah, this is why Donald Trump does not have to pay because he built networks. You don't need a storefront. So paying store so so no paying store rent, no electricity with online business, no water bill, no worry not worry about having to worry about theft with online business. No buying products in bulk and paying storage or warehouse uh, fees. You are online, so you have access to 323 million people in the US and 36.29 million people in Canada. So you will never run out of people to uh, market to and advertise to, especially when you have a vehicle like Facebook where you can talk to somebody in a different state with the snap of a finger. I don't like sales. A lot of people say they don't like sales. Well, me either. I don't like selling anything, but if someone has a need or a want for your good or service, I will take the time out to send them a link with a video attached to it when it explains um, what, what your product or service offers. So that's not selling, that's solving, that's solving people's problems. If they need your product or service, they will buy it, just like insurance, and use it later. What, will, what people don't know is that <clears throat> when it comes to sales, they have presented and sold themselves when they market they skill, their skills in an interview uh, to a company. You talked about your um, skills and why you would be great and for the company. It's the same thing when you market products or services. You sell yourself. So the company basically purchased your time for in between $7.25 and probably up to $25, $50 an hour or however much you get paid. But your time is not worth what your wage is. I'm letting you know right now. You can get your what you're really worth 
in this B quadrant that I'm talking about right now. The business that you franchise will have lawyers as if you will ever need them because if your business has been in business for 40, 60 years, there are no one, and especially if your business is on a uh, better business bureau with the A plus, you won't even have to worry about nobody trying to sue you. And they can't sue you. They will sue the company. And you won't have anything to do with it. don't have to do anything. But anyway, that's long story short. Your item will already have the people's trust because it's coming from a big business. Big business has big credibility. They already have what the customer needs. They already know it's in demand, in high demand. So basically, this is how the business goes. And you have um, liked and shared things with people before. And I can explain why. If you have a social network of 500 people, you have already accomplished adding people, sharing with people, and liking things with people. All of you may like the same things. Some, If someone asks you, hey, can you teach me about Facebook? Like, what is it? Um, how do I make an account? How do I add friends? How do I share a status? Can you teach me how to like a status and make a fan page? So basically, that's all you're doing in this opportunity. If you change the conversation, you're sharing with people your product, you'll change um, your lifestyle. Your conversations that you have currently are not income producing. If you change your conversation and talk about things that produce income for yourself, then you will have that. Change your conversation, you'll change your situation. Hey, this is America. It's the land of the free. I'm not saying money can buy you happiness because it can't. But it's more comfortable to cry in a paid off Mercedes than riding on a bike. I'm just being realistic. Now let's talk about the I quadrant, the investor quadrant, the passive income quadrant, the financial freedom quadrant. You own your investments. This is where the top 5% of the world are. In the population, your income does not depend on your active work. It's passive, passive money. It comes in 24-7. Um, your money works for you. Instead of you working for your money, your money works for you. For example, uh, Shark Tanks investors or Warren Buffett. So an uh, investor earns income as an, as an entity. They have automatic payouts. They're paid the start of the month and they create or buy their own investments. So basically you build growing assets, seven growing assets in the B quadrant, you can retire. Um, you will have a pipeline of income to invest in any other business that you ever wanted to invest in. You'll have that pipeline, pipeline income is an income that starts off slow and you build it and it trickles and you build it and it drips and you build it and it flows. So with that flow, it's hard to stop that flow because you have already gained that momentum. So um, that's how you can have access money to start other businesses. Maybe you wanted to, like as I said, you can create and buy your own investments. So um, I'm going to show you some pictures of a person who had got financially free because of this B quadrant. And yes, financial freedom is real. Um, it just depends on the people you associate with. If they talk about these things, you will be about these things. But if they don't talk about these things, if they, if you're hanging out with people that don't talk about dreams, you you got the wrong circle. If you're hanging around people that talk about their problems more than they talk about their so solutions, you're hanging around the wrong people. 
You need to hang around people that are solution oriented. Yeah, we understand what the problem is. That's fine and dandy. But don't complain about it all day and don't do nothing about it. That's weak. So, um, you got to build a growing asset or several growing assets in the B quadrant. So, you will have a pipeline of income to invest in other opportunities. Um, here's a quote that I like. Your life is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your, what you do with it, what you do with your life is your gift back to him. Your life is God's gift to you. What you do with your life is your gift back to him. The greatest use of your life is to live your life that the use of your life outlives your life. So basically, making a legacy, making an impact and leaving a legacy on other people to be better off because you lived. And this is what this guy did. He helped millions of people, maybe thousands of people, become better off financially by teaching them to grow businesses in the B quadrant. And also, they are also free and he's also free too. So I'm going to scroll through to let you know that this is real. This is him and his wife. See, they have the, um, they're glad they broke free from their nine to five uh, position in life. Um, his wife is free. And um, yeah, they're just going to enjoy their life. They're going to not let what they did in their previous time define who they were. Because she wasn't an accountant. She was an, um, a runner, a jogger. A, um, when she wakes up now, she says, when people ask her, what does she do? She says, you know, I go out to eat. I, um, I jog. I watch movies. I, I do what I want to do. So she doesn't like, let her previous... Um, job title define who she was she wasn't those things she had her own life so she's free at 25 so this is how your freedom party could go possibly so, um, okay, guys, if you like this video, I would like for you to um, share it and feel free to comment below more info of how you can uh, get started in a um, <clears throat> small, very, very small business opportunity and use about 20 or 30 minutes a day to make some, some extra money on the side and have great mentorships, um, change your mindset so that you can change your income. And um, that's how it goes. And this has been Ashley. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.